Cologne, Germany. April 22 to 24, 2019. Now I'm passing through the Atlanta airport on my way to Dusseldorf. It's got my ticket here. It's my 400 airport that I've flown to as a passenger. Hello, welcome aboard, and thanks for flying with Delta. Give us your attention as we show you one of the safest worlds there is, the world of the safety card. After dinner, I went to sleep. Arriving into Dusseldorf, I exited baggage claim. I just arrived here to my fifth airport in Germany. This is Dusseldorf Airport. It was a good flight, eight hours and 15 minutes to get here from Atlanta. Now I'm going to head over to Cologne. I'm going to try to catch a ride out of the airport. So we're going to go to the departures level. Outside the airport at departures level, I searched for a ride. Good morning. How are you? I'm Jason. I'm Thomas. Nice to meet you. Thanks for picking me up at the airport and sorry for the hassle. <laughs> okay, thank you too. I can't believe a police stopped you one minute after you picked me up. After Thomas picked me up, he stopped beside the road to decide where to drop me off. But a minute later, the police drove up behind us and fined us 10 euros for stopping beside the road as we were undecided which road to take. Welcome to Germany. I'm looking for Uber. Uber. So you're an Uber driver. Wow. So if I can get to the 57, then I'll be able to get another ride to Cologne. Where are you from? I'm from Ghana. Ghana? Alright, that's nice. I just flew in from the US. Okay. Have you been to the US? No. <laughs> no visa. One day, someday. <laughs> After waiting in this area for 20 minutes, this 19-year-old German picked me up. Right, so my name is Jason. Your name? Uh, Niklaus. Hey, nice to meet you, Niklaus. Uh, where are we going? Uh, to Cologne. And uh, what do you have to do there? Uh, I picked my aunt. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> no problem. I was really worried I couldn't find the ride from that interchange. <laughs> <laughs> so you have hitchhiking experience? Uh, yes. I was lucky Nicholas picked me up because he was going exactly within an 18 minute walk of my destination. Cologne, Germany. A 2,000 year old city spanning the Rhine River with 1 million people. This was Colonius, the Cologne telecommunication tower finished in 1981. It had a cafeteria and viewing platform at the top when it opened, but it had been closed since 1992 in search of a new police holder. So I got out of my ride here. It's only an 18 minute walk to my destination here. Alright, I'm going to see Will. Hey, Will! Hey, good Abend! How are you? <laughs> Welcome to Deutschland! Nice, nice to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Yeah. When was the last time we saw each other? Uh, GoJet, like four years ago. Five years 2013. ago. 2013. Yes. Wow, that's been a while. It is. <laughs> Unbelievable. You're right. You're working here at FedEx now? Yep. FedEx. How do you like it? I love it. It's good. Super. How many years have you been living in Cologne? Three years this summer, so a little over two and a half. Oh, okay. Next, we decided to take a walk to enjoy the spring weather and visit the city center of Cologne. Where are we headed to now? We are in a place called Stadtwald Park, walking to Wollnerstrasse train station, and then we're going to jump the 7S-Bahn and go down to the heart of Cologne. So I'll get to see the cathedral? You'll see the cathedral, I known as the Dom. The very first night we moved here. Yeah. We're out here walking around at night. Yeah. First night. We're like, let's yeah. go for a walk. It's dark out. Yeah. yeah. And I'm looking, at, not knowing there's like a, a deer park there. Oh. And I and I think to myself as I see one, I'm like, what? There's elk here. And oh. I thought we were, you know, <laughs> walking with these beasts. But... The tram stopped, and we took it to reach Rudolfplatz. So Rome built the city, more or less. Rome means colony. Yeah. Uh, it was the northernmost Roman colony at mm -hmm. the time. Okay. So this is the original Roman. Wow. Yeah, yeah. One, one of them. There's, of there's not many left, but there's a few. It goes all around and they call it the ring. Then Will told me about DriveNow, a car sharing car club. There's an app called DriveNow. Where's the closest car? Um, there's one right a block next door, and her name is Hi, I'm Tilly. <laughs> and then you can reserve it. If I reserve it, no one else can rent it now. Oh. And then when I get you can reserve it for 15 minutes. Oh, okay. So then you get there, and you, you, I get in there, and I open the door, and I, I have my secret code, like oh, a pin. Yeah. Hit the start button, you're driving. Wow, that's good. I would never want to own a car here. For lunch, we went to a place called Hans im Gluck. Oh, this is a nice restaurant. Have you been here before? Yeah. Um, we have. Yeah, I like um, it. They have these in Munich, too. It's a chain restaurant? Sort yeah. of. Uh, oh, it's, it, the answer is yes, but they don't have a lot. All right, so the food finally came. Well, yeah. what did you order? Um, Fiba Bay salad, which yeah. is basically a chicken salad, more or less. How about you? What did you order? A vegetarian burger called Abendrot. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. It's Dutch or something. <laughs> 
I went the fast way as opposed to the scenic way. Is this the way to the church? Yeah, that's a huge church they had to rebuild and it's up and going. Uh, where does the UPS pilot stay? Right here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's still up and running? <laughs> yep. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. Where's the best spot to get a photo of this cathedral? Hey. You can, Jason. It's so big, you gotta be like a mile away. <laughs> so what do you suggest? We'll go across the Rhine. We'll shoot it from there. Okay. <laughs> when the trains were coal powered, all the coal soot would end up on the church. Let's take a look inside. This cathedral was 515 feet high and attracted 20,000 visitors per day. Uh, what's buried in that shrine? The three wise men. The originals? The originals. Wow, yep. that's impressive. <laughs> This cathedral is built around that relic. This cathedral is the house of that relic. Once a year, they actually, you can get up right yeah. to it and look in, and apparently right. you can see their skulls. The, so the Germans did do DNA tests and all that stuff, and they concluded that, you, you can't conclude it is them, oh. but they certainly can't conclude that it is not, because everything matches to the time mm, period. Okay. After visiting the cathedral, we walked across the bridge which had the most locks on it than any other bridge. Because it was Easter Monday, everyone was visiting the city center. Wow, that's a lot of people, but not as many as in India. This section is starting with new locks. Across the river was an amusement park, complete with a ferris wheel. Hey, those crane buildings, those are the most expensive apartment complex in Cologne. Very expensive units in there. Which one's residential? The one closest to us. Kind of see the patio sticking out. And the rest of them are just office? Yep. This bridge was known for its love locks. It is estimated 40,000 locks have been added to the bridge. They love that. It was one hot day for April, so the kids were playing in the water. Everyone was enjoying the nice spring weather. We passed through Hoi Mart Square with statue fountains in the middle as we made our way to visit Maritim Hotel. This was the lobby of the charming four-star hotel where the UPS pilots stayed. Sure enough, there was a little drink cabinet for the pilots. After a day in the city center, it was time to return back home to rest. Will, what was the reason you moved? Well, after that crane went down, and during the process of three or four people with three to four months renovation with concrete and drills and hammers, and then they added these two cranes for demolition, these two buildings, I was out. A year and a half of uh, hammering is all it could take. So man. two month notice and you're out. Yep. That's it. <laughs> it was. We love the apartment, but not the noise. Right on it. That was review. That is incredible. Oh, that's cottonwood right there for you. All the allergies come from that. In the evening, we decided to visit a local restaurant for dinner. So local that they didn't even know English. We had the choice of either inside or outside. We chose the outside as the weather was pleasant. Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, thank you. After a pleasant dinner, we went back home. Day two, Will goes to work. So you head out to work? No, I'm heading out to have fun. <laughs> wow, that's the life of a FedEx pilot, huh? There you go. It's not a bad deal, man. So where's your layovers again? So tonight is Aachen, and then we uh, actually depart Liège through Vienna into Tel Aviv. And I'll be in Tel Aviv for two days, backtrack the same way. So how long is your layover in Tel Aviv? Uh, this one was 32 hours, I think. So enough time to have fun, huh? Oh, yeah. So what's your prediction on what kind of car is going to pick you up? It's going to be a Skoda. Okay. And it's either going to be black or silver, dark silver. Be a wagon or, or a sedan. We'll see how good you are at gambling at All this. Right. <laughs> wow, you're way wrong. Yeah, I've never been picked up in a Volvo before. <laughs> That's a new one. Yeah. Hey, take care. All right, see you. Have a good see trip. You. Thanks, man. Take care. I said goodbye to Belinda and continued on my way. I finished visiting Will and Belinda here, so now I'm gonna head over to downtown again to the center to visit a few things before heading to the airport to catch my bus to Brussels. Check out this bread machine. Let's watch how to get bread from a machine. First make a selection, then push the button, and there it shoots out. Let's watch that again. Make a selection, and out it comes. This concluded my two-day stay in Cologne, and I went to the airport to catch my bus to Brussels, Belgium. Welcome in Bonn, Köln, Bonn. After a short three hours on the bus, I arrived to Brussels in the evening. So I'm gonna head to my host, which is about a 30 minute walk from the station. This one is the Starbucks. That's quite unusual. While walking through the streets of Brussels, I was not surprised to see the homeless, but what I was surprised about was how they had mobile phones. I passed through the city center on route to my destination. 
The scooter man was collecting all the scooters for the night to get recharged. Hey, how are you? I'm oh, fine. <laughs> My name is Jason. Your name? Frank. Franco. Oh, yes. Thanks for coming to pick me up at Louisa Station. <laughs> I could not find you. <laughs> so I thought I will come. Uh, that yeah, I you come. said 10:20. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, I wait. Yeah. Anyway, so how long have you been living in Brussels? 10, 10 years. 10 years? Wow. Yeah. How many years have you been a couch surfing member? I'm uh, new. New? Yes. You are uh... first one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Welcome to my home. All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate you coming to pick me up at the station. You know, I'm vegetarian. You think I'll be able to find vegetarian restaurants in uh, Brussels? Uh, you have many, many, many options. Many fans, yeah. But what about you? Are you vegetarian? No, no, no. no? <laughs> <laughs> I love meat. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you think I'm missing out? You have to try. What kind of meat should I try? Uh, crocodile. Crocodile? Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> Hey, have you ever eaten uh, monkey? Yes. Really? Yes, it's delicious. I like it. Also good. Yes. I miss it because in, in Brussels it's, it's really expensive. You can buy monkey meat? Uh, yes, you can buy it. Oh man, yes. I didn't know from, that. It's called from Africa. Yeah. From here. So which country are you from? In Congo. Which one? Uh, Kinshasa. What other exotic meats did you eat? Uh, slang, uh, boa, in English. Snake? Snake. <laughs> What else? Yeah. We have many, many in Africa. In the... I, don't, I don't know the name in English or in French, but I know the name in... What's the name in Lingali? <laughs> Simbiliki. <laughs> it's a small animal with a... Um... He meant the civet, a cat-looking animal. Is it a porcupine? Uh, no, no. No? No. Can you eat this one? Uh, this... I don't know about... It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> So it's possible to eat this one too. <laughs> it's possible. Vegetable, we don't eat everything, but meat, we eat everything. Wow. <laughs> All right, so thanks a lot. Nice Thank you very you. much for coming. <laughs> yeah. And maybe so. see you in Las Vegas. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you never know. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna walk to the embassy. It's about a 40 minute walk. I'll get there shortly and ask them for a visa. I made it to the embassy of Turkmenistan. So I talked to Merdan. He's the consular here and he said that he can only issue visas for Benelux countries, Belgium, Netherlands, and uh, Luxembourg. So I have no luck here in Brussels. I'm gonna continue on to Washington, D.C. Hopefully I can catch the flight. It leaves in two hours. I took the tram and then I got help from this girl to reach the right bus to the airport. Hi, how are you? I'm good, so I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for helping me find the bus. So my name is Jason. What's your name? Shima. Nice to meet you. So where are you going? I'm going to work. You're going to work? Yeah. Are you going to make it in time? you got seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay. Enough time. Oh, okay, good. All right, we'll have a good day at work and I'm going to try to catch my flight. Thanks a lot. Have a great flight as well. <laughs> Thank you. I managed to get to the airport and I'm going to head to the gate right now. I returned to the U.S., to Washington, D.C. After having dinner and taking a nap, I landed in D.C. I arrived to the airport and got a ride. I just left Washington, Dallas Airport, en route to Arlington, Virginia. My name is Jason, what's your name? Martina. Martina, nice to meet you. Thanks for picking me up. You're welcome. <laughs> so what made you stop to pick me up? Well, I'm originally coming from Europe and uh, we, we stop for people usually. Oh, that's and nice. Yeah, so, you looked alright. So. Yeah, and plus people at airports are safe. They've gone through security already. Oh, what? I didn't yeah. even think about it. Well, I got dropped off here at Spring Hill Metro Station. Martina drove me from the airport to get here. Now I'm just gonna catch the metro to get to Arlington and meet up with Yakomina. She was my host in 2011. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more adventures.